Welcome back to another exciting episode of Crime Net News, all you heisters out there. As always, we are your hosts, Capcake and Vice, and we have yet another week filled with updates, news, and an event on the horizon as well. If you've been tuning into the official Starbreeze streams, you may have noticed Almir has a special mask that he's been rocking. Word from the bearded man himself is after the most recent Twitch drop rotation, the Almir mask will be available to be earned in the next rotation. So keep an eye out all you mask collectors out there. A new roadmap is in the works. While we don't know all of the details that will consist of said roadmap, we do know it'll be dropping before the end of July, so keep your eyes out. If you didn't know, Payday 2 is slated to attempt an Alan Wake 2 crossover where Alan Wake would join the Payday gang as a heister and even have a dedicated heist. However, Remedy Entertainment couldn't reach an agreement and the project was scrapped. That being said, there's another cross-promotional event in the works, but beyond that, we don't know anything besides it's going to be Almir Listo's favorite crossover to date. In the world of Payday 3 mechanics, we have a bit of info that has surfaced recently. Starbreeze is working on a more in-depth filter system to more easily filter out what heists you play. When asked if there would be a loud and stealth filter, Almir said there will be many filters for you to choose from. Perhaps this is coming when CrimeNet drops this summer? We'll just have to wait and see. Almir briefly mentioned that there is a new overkill weapon in the works. That being said, we don't know what to expect or when to expect the new weapon. Let us know your guesses in the comment section below. Dislike modifiers? Wish they were optional? Me too. However, word on the block is one modifier is a two-way street. The AP modifier, which causes the boys in blue to dish out 5% of their damage to your health, is actually a modifier that works against law enforcement as well. After some experimentation, heisters found out that the Castigo has the ability to one-tap heavy SWAT, the Car 4 can easily two-shot heavy units, and the Bison, with Finisher, can even one-shot shields. Before we get on to the really exciting news like the new Mask Mania event, and a little surprise for you guys, we have the community highlights, starting off with our Payday 2 clip coming to us from Smitty. You hey. have so much cocaine on your face. It is. Yes. Not, is that a problem? <laughs> yeah. You say that it, as if it's a problem. problem. Can we You're just not, move before a security guard comes? Oh! 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 the corner! No! Eli, no! Eli! no! Eli! Oh, why? Oh my god. What the f Now we've committed and there's a lady here. Tell her to get down. Just kill her. Oh no, shit, there's people yeah, coming. Look, we'll block the no, door. No, it's fine. I'm standing in the door. <laughs> yeah. I'm body blocking. I'm, I got Nothing's it. happening. Just to take a seat um, and relax. Yeah, that's probably one of the more lore accurate Jimmys I've ever seen. Up next is our Payday 3 clip coming from Anna Demetrio. Cause I'm still like, I'm, if this is counting as paintings, I'm getting, yeah, I've got some <gasps> fine art. Oh my, can somebody get me? I felt, who put a hole in the ceiling? Maggie, don't turn around. <laughs> can anybody get me on the, oh. Maggie, I'm coming, I'm coming. Maggie, I'm coming. <laughs> Did you go in there too? <laughs> now watch your step. I think your ankles will greatly appreciate it. Up next is the Payday 2 mod of the week, and it's the compact host info made by James. This is a very intriguing quality of life mod, giving you bits of info about the heist and a host before you join. For Payday 3 mod of the week comes a fun little tool. Wanted to make a phone mod but don't know how? Try out Phone Wallpaper Maker. Just insert some photos, static or animated, and hit export and bam, you have a new wallpaper mod to enjoy. You can make it yourself or upload it on Mod Workshop. And it's been an eventful week as it has been announced that Starbreeds has welcomed three more content creators into their partner program. Firstly, we have Safi Abikasis, who is all about news and speculation of upcoming content. His channel has been blowing up since he started playing Paid 3 and has since been on that grind for 11 months now. Definitely check him out. We have PD Lucky, the one and only Community Day Frontier who has been playing Payday 3 with the community on the first Friday of every month, and just so recently got it officially recognized by the game itself. With his new partnership, he plans to strengthen the community and do many fun and interesting events there. 
go check out his channel and give him some ideas on what to do for Community Day next. And lastly we have, well, I'm just going to let the man talk about it himself. So spoiler alert, if you didn't see my announcement the other day, I am partner number three. Uh, first of all, thank you very much, everybody, uh, the community, Capcake, and Mondo for helping edit the videos since we came back officially, you could say. Um, I do want to do a bit of a disclaimer that just like my buddy PD Lucky, I will also be in a group that is going to be avoiding spoilers. Reason being, one of the requirements for being a Starbreeze partner is to act with integrity. And as the community has loved this new section, I feel it would be disingenuous for me to get the scoop on spoilers and stuff that's literally about to happen and then just speculate on it and just it feels it would feel like false news so capcake and myself are going to stick to our usual journalism and investigative research to give you accurate news that can be talked about as opposed to finding out about stuff and then being stuck under nda and again thank you very much everyone just let this be a reminder that if you have any goals work hard and you'll achieve them some of you might know this is my second time now being officially affiliated with Overkill slash Starbreeze. And again, I appreciate the support and drive from the community to continue our road down content creation. And if you're ever feeling down, there's a certain quote I want you to remember. I carry it around in my wallet every day. Uh, it's from my favorite video game, Skies of Arcadia. That being, impossible is just a word that people use to feel better about themselves when they quit. So just remember to strive for your goals and you'll achieve them. Just don't quit. It's an amazing opportunity for this channel as a whole, and I don't know about you, but I'm very excited for the future. Which leads us to our very first community event, Mask Mania, which is all about playing the base game heists and gaining money to progress towards unique masks. If the community steals enough money altogether, everyone who participated will unlock the mask. Otherwise, hardcore challenges will later allow you to unlock them. They indicate that masks will be coming out at a later day than the event, which is coming next week, by the way. And in order to participate, you need to have your telemetry on. Kravit Gangster on Reddit made an amazing infographic to show which heist you need to complete for each mask. Link in the description for more details. Many of the partners are rallying behind this event as team leaders for each of the masks, and I will be representing Team Disco Mollies. So be sure to join in from the 16th to the 21st of July, playing mainly the Rock the Cradle and Under the Surface Heist when the event starts, and help my team reach the goal first. We do have one more topic to briefly touch on to pique everyone's interest. Starbreeze partner Red Archer Live recently did an hour-long interview with Starbreeze's global brand manager, Almir Listo. We aren't going to spoil anything, but we do highly recommend you check it out in the link in the description below. And that's everything for this week, folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep those helmets flying.